MacBook Pros are rocking decent power and performance, which allows you to play some fantastic games on them. Today, I'm going to be sharing 15 well-optimized games to run on these laptops. Please note, this list is aiming towards MacBook Pros released from mid-2012 and up. And for reference, all games have been recorded and played on a MacBook Pro 13-inch from 2019. Number 15, we have Void Bastards. Choosing a well-optimized FPS game for both 13-inch and 15-inch MacBook Pros is hard as you want a game that can receive well over 30 frames. Void Bastards is a good pick as it's a lightweight game, yet it is still a good looking one. It's a sci-fi strategy shooter and you are tasked with escaping the galaxy. To do so, you'll need to dock spaceships along the way collect resources and fight dangerous enemies. If you're playing on a 13-inch MacBook Pro, you should probably put the quality settings to simple, with VSync switched on, while the 15-inch models can play at good or beautiful quality. All of this is depending on your hardware though. Void Bastards is available on Steam and is supported on all MacBook Pros released since mid-2012. Number 14 is Human Fall Flat. Here we have one of my favorite multiplayer games for Mac. It's a silly game, but it's super fun, challenging, and if you're playing with others, it's a great game to challenge the aspect of teamwork. Human Fall Flat is filled with many levels that require you to solve complex puzzles in order to reach the end of each level. To run the game at the best performance, be sure to keep VSync enabled to avoid screen tearing and turn off ambient occlusion and HDR. Anyway, Human Fall Flat is available on Steam or the Mac App Store. However, the App Store version only supports local multiplayer, so go for the Steam one. The game is supported on all 13-inch MacBook Pros released since 2016. 15-inch models are supported since mid-2012 with a 1GB or better graphics card. Number 13, we have Dirt 4. Dirt 4 is a very challenging and competitive racer that brings many different modes to compete in and multiplayer modes too. Despite this game's advanced visual details, Feral Interactive have optimized it very well for MacBook Pros. It is supported on all 13-inch Retina MacBook Pros released since 2016 and all 15-inch MacBook Pros released since mid-2012 with a 1GB or better graphics card. That's pretty fantastic. However, all MacBook Pros back to 2012 have the ability to run it uh, at some capacity, even without official support. For this game, Feral recommend that you play the game at its default settings when you launch it, as the game will automatically detect your hardware and determine the best graphical settings for performance. In addition, the game officially supports eGPUs now. For example, my Blackmagic eGPU can run this game at 2K resolutions, ultra graphics quality, and receive around 60 FPS when VSync is enabled or 80 to 100 FPS when it's not. Anyway, Dirt 4 is available on Steam or the Mac App Store. Number 12 is Dusk. Here is another fantastic FPS game that I can recommend for MacBook Pro users. Since it has retro 90s styled graphics, it can run on almost anything you throw at it. While still, it does display some great graphical detail or fidelity. For instance, I can run this game at its Mac settings and a resolution of 1080p, and the FPS is still seeing an average of 60 frames. Not bad. It's a very fast-paced shooter which was inspired by classics such as Quake and Doom. You can see the resemblance from the visual style, weapons on offer, levels, and the types of enemies. Dusk is supported on all MacBook Pros released since mid-2012. And you can also buy the game on Steam, it's not on the Mac App Store. Number 11, we have Oxygen Not Included. If you're looking for a new simulation game for your MacBook Pro, Oxygen Not Included should be on your system already, or in your thoughts at least. In this game, you must help to guide colonists 
through the inside of an asteroid and over time grow their population. You'll monitor the colonists' hunger, waste and oxygen levels to keep them alive. Oxygen not included is supported on all MacBook Pros back to mid-2012 and should be able to run really, really well on all of these machines. In addition, the game is available on Steam, it's not available on the Mac App Store. Number 10, we have Northgard. This is a strategy game based on Norse mythology. You control a clan of Vikings and must attempt to take control of the land around you. Northgard is a nice mix between settlers of Catan, Civilization and Age of Empires while still being a unique experience. I contacted the developer and they informed me that the game is officially supported on all MacBook Pros back to mid-2012 and supports the Metal API. That is fantastic news. For the best performance, I would say put shadows to low or medium, disable SSAO and depth of field. You can purchase this game on Steam, it's not available on the Mac App Store. Number 9 is Sky, Children of the Light. Sky is already out for iPhone and iPad, however, that game company have informed me that the macOS version is coming soon. When? I don't have an official release date, all I know is that it's coming soon. However, I was invited to test the beta version for macOS and I have to say it is exceptional. Running on my MacBook Pro, it runs really great at about 60 frames per second. Even on an older MacBook Pro from 2013 here, you can see that it is still really smooth, even at 30 frames on average, but it plays fantastic. Now, I did only play the game for like 30 minutes, but Based on my experiences, yes, it does run very well here. Sky is going to officially support all MacBook Pros back to mid-2012. In addition, the devs have told me that the game will have full controller support, so that's good. Number 8, we have Train Valley 2. Many new Tycoon games lately haven't met my expectations or scratched my itch, but Train Valley 2 has achieved this for me at least. It also runs great on my MacBook Pro at max settings and 1080p, so that's nice. It has addictive gameplay that combines puzzle micromanagement with tycoon elements. You'll need to keep trains running on schedule across 50 levels in the company mode. You can upgrade your stock, produce goods, and you can do much more. Train Valley 2 is supported on all MacBook Pros back to 2012 and is available only on Steam. Number 7 is Fantasy Strike. Here we have the best fighting game available on Mac today. Unlike many other fighters, it's easy to get into but does offer a challenging experience for more advanced players. It also has very vibrant graphics and well thought out online matchmaking. In fact, the incredible thing about this game is that it was developed on a Mac, which you don't hear about every day. This means the developer Surline Games have optimized it very well for macOS. I'm able to play at 1080p, medium settings, and see a decent frame rate. Officially, the game supports all MacBook Pros back to 2014. However, you can play them way back to 2012 models because they do have the capacity to run this game. But for the best performance, I would say put the graphics quality to standard and turn off anti-aliasing two times. Fantasy Strike is available on Steam, it's not on the Mac App Store. You win! Number 6, we have LEGO DC Super Villains. Developed by Feral Interactive, once again this game will automatically detect your Mac's hardware and determine the best performance. For 13-inch MacBook Pro models, you'll most likely be playing at 30 frames to allow for higher graphical detail, while 15-inch models will most likely be playing at 60 frames, but I can't confirm this. Honestly, this is one of the best looking LEGO games I've seen in a while, and I say that often, but this one takes the top of the leaderboard, I don't know, I, I, I don't know. 
and the action-adventure gameplay is so much fun to experience here. In addition, you can play this game in local, on-screen co-op with a friend, and it is a blast. The game is supported on all 13-inch MacBook Pros released since 2016, 15-inch models are supported since mid-2012 with a 1GB or better graphics card. The game is available on Steam or the Mac App Store. Number 5 is Life is Strange Before the Storm. Before the Storm has gameplay which is very similar to the storytelling scene in the Telltale games, but for me, Before the Storm offers more freedom in terms of maybe more open environments to move around. I can run this game at a resolution of 1280 x 720p, 720p, with all graphical details set to high. This allows for great performance while still allowing for decent graphical fidelity. For the best performance here, put anti-aliasing to low, and Before the Storm is supported on all 13-inch MacBook Pros back to 2013, and all 15-inch MacBook Pros released since mid-2012 with a 1GB or better graphics card. Before the Storm is available on Steam or the Mac App Store. Number 4 is Alien Isolation. Despite the fact that this is a big AAA experience, Alien Isolation does not have the most demanding requirements to run. In fact, I know it's a lightweight game because the developer, Feral Interactive, are porting it to Nintendo Switch later this year. Yes, it's getting old now, but I'd still say it is a very good looking game. If you want to run this game on a MacBook Pro, it is officially supported on all 13-inch MacBook Pros released since 2016 and all 15-inch MacBook Pros released since mid-2012 with a 1GB or better graphics card. That's pretty incredible. I can run it at 1280x720 with all graphics put to high. Sure, I get 30 frames on average, but it's completely playable. Alien Isolation is available on Steam or the Mac App Store. Number 3 is Tomb Raider. Yes, like Alien Isolation, this game is getting old now, but it's still one of the best AAA action-adventure experiences that you can get on a MacBook Pro. In fact, in mid-2019, Tomb Raider was updated to 64-bit and is now powered by the Metal Graphics API so it runs at much better performance compared to when it ran on the OpenGL graphics API. Tomb Raider is now officially supported on all MacBook Pros released since mid-2012 and is available on the Mac App Store or Steam. Number 2 we have Cuphead. Recently, this challenging platformer was updated to the Metal Graphics API. Its performance was already outstanding when running on OpenGL, but now it's even more incredible. You can run this game at its highest settings, and it still receives 60 frames on all MacBook Pros back to 2012. Now yes, it's not an advanced looking game, but I still consider that performance a good achievement. And I'm sorry, I tried for around 45 minutes to get past this early level, but I just couldn't. I'm so bad, so I'm sorry. Anyway, the game is supported on all MacBook Pro models back to mid-2012 and is only available to buy from Steam. Number one is The Gardens Between. Recently, this game received the Mac App Store Game of the Year for 2018 and the Apple Design Award winner for 2019. And you know what, I can see why. It is an incredibly beautiful puzzle adventure game that happens to be very well optimized for any Mac out there. On my 13-inch MacBook Pro, I can run the gardens between at 1920 by 1080 high settings and still receive a decent frame rate. That's really impressive in, in my opinion anyway. If you want to run the gardens between, well luckily, it's supported on all MacBook Pros released since mid-2012, and it's available on Steam and the Mac App Store. It's definitely worth taking a look at, no matter what Mac you have.
If you own a MacBook Pro, which games are you currently playing on it? Let me know in the comments. To show your support, leaving a like is all I ask from you as this tells YouTube that I'm doing a good job. Anyway, subscribe and turn on notifications to be alerted about upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.